If you have diabetes or even pre-diabetes, avoiding blood sugar spikes is one of the best things you can do for yourself to prevent long-term damage to your heart and general health. How, what, when, and how much you eat can go a long way to smoothing out your blood sugar levels. To avoid blood sugar spikes, it's important to eat regularly during the day. That means healthy snacking can be healthier than loading up at mealtimes. <laughs> I used to <laughs> starve myself, go to a buffet, and that would last me the whole day. Then Dan learned that his blood sugar was at an unhealthy level. I went to visit my internist, and he said, you know, you've got high blood sugar. It could lead, if unchecked, to type 2 diabetes. And he referred me to a dietitian. And I logged not only what I was eating, but how much. I became aware fairly quickly that eh, maybe not as healthy as, uh, as I'd like to think. But making a change can reap benefits without starving yourself. The best way to stay full and satisfied with your meals is making sure you get a balanced breakfast, a whole grain, which might be oatmeal, a protein, which may be a lean sausage or an egg, or soy milk or skin milk in your cereal or oatmeal and there's always a fruit or a vegetable at every meal. Some people get the hungry mid-morning. A great snack would be a piece of fruit or yogurt or a combination of yogurt and fruit. There are so many options for a healthy lunch. Simple options could be a sandwich and a salad or a sandwich with salad and vinaigrette dressing is perfect lunch. Vinegar is a good addition to meals for people with diabetes. Vinegar can reduce what's called the glycemic load, the number that estimates how much a food will raise a person's blood sugar level after eating it. A lot of people need an afternoon snack because often there's a lot of time between lunch and dinner. A lighter afternoon snack might just be a piece of fruit or veggies with hummus that you've brought from home. That healthy snack can keep your blood sugar even when it's time to decide on dinner. A healthy meal for diabetes with at least half the volume we want fruits or vegetables. That means the volume is high, the nutrients are high, but the calories are low. Grains such as barley, rye, or oats actually keep blood sugar low and even out the blood sugar response. And dessert doesn't have to be your downfall. There are plenty of wonderful dessert options when you have diabetes. One of my favorites are the creamy Greek yogurts with fruit and nuts, or even a hot cocoa, a square, an ounce of dark chocolate with a piece of fruit, excellent dessert. A lot of people with diabetes are afraid of eating fruit. In fact, studies show people who eat more fruit tend to have less diabetes. It took me about four months working with a registered dietitian to lose 10 pounds as a result of diet and, and exercise changes. My blood sugar levels went down to normal and they've stayed in normal range since and that's been several years. Grazing and snacking as well as good food choices and exercise can help keep those blood sugar levels where you want them.